Chris Lee and Blake Lovell of Southeastern 14 presented by Stakes. We are continuing our previews of week four football games involving the SEC. And now we get to Northern Illinois visiting Kentucky. The Huskies saw the SEC up close and personal last week on their field when Vanderbilt beat them 38 to 28 in DeKalb, Illinois. Now they hit the road to face a 3-0 Kentucky team that is getting some top 10 love. Um, and and I, frankly, I'll get to this later, I think has still got a lot of room to get better. Kentucky, a 25-point favorite over under a 53. This game is on ESPN2, kicking off at 7 Eastern. Blake, give me your thoughts here. Yeah, I mean, clearly for Northern Illinois, like you said, playing the SEC teams and back-to-back weeks uh, but i think there's a clear difference between kentucky and vanderbilt in terms of defense and i think that is what we will probably certainly zone in on in this game is some of the things kentucky will be able to do defensively um to, to be able to you know slow down northern illinois who has played you know they, they put up some points you know i think to this point so i think it's um that will probably present the biggest challenges in terms of where they're at um something interesting chris again we're not professional betters but if you want an interesting Stat, uh, the over is hit in all of Northern Illinois' first three games. The mm. under has hit in all of Kentucky's first three games. So, um, sorry, Northern Illinois. I think the I tend to think that that under is going to continue here because of Kentucky's defense. And like you said, Chris, still a team that's got a lot of room to get better. Uh, now going to be a week out from getting Chris Rodriguez back too. So, well, let me give you a little thing to watch on Northern Illinois. And I saw all of its game last week against Fandy. Rocky Lombardi, NIU starting quarterback, went out. Yeah. Had a slide that went wrong. I think he went out first, second quarter, did not return. I'm looking on the internet. There's no updates as we speak. Uh, Their backup, I think his name is Ethan Hampton, um, came in at first and did really well. They, They had four touchdown drives in their first four drives. Vandy figured something out and completely shut them down from there. Um, I, I think that's something to watch. I mean, I, I think Kentucky wins this game handily either way, but how much may be dictated by Lombardi's health. He's a pretty respectable quarterback. They can run the ball a little bit, now again, against Kentucky. I don't know how much it's going to matter, uh, but there will be a difference between Hampton and Lombardi, so that's worth monitoring to see if he plays. And, again, we're doing this on Monday morning, and I've got nothing there. Yeah, by the way, as we always say, Rocky Lombardi, all-time football name uh, without question. Um, and, uh, yes, I hope – like you said, he's a he's a very talented player. We talked about that going into the Northern Illinois Vandy game. Um, but, but yeah, there's there's no doubt. I think there's, there's a clear difference there, and I think that's where, again, you look at what Kentucky's defense has done to this point, and – there's just been so many things that we, we said coming the season, you know, they're it's a Mark Stoops coach team and you just know defensively, they're going to be able to find some things. Um, look, we go back to what they did against Florida on the road. Although, as we've said, Florida's kind of slipped a little bit since then, but still there's no, no reason why you would not be impressed with Kentucky's defense at this point. And um, I think that they are, you know, definitely in terms of where they're at on that side of the ball, uh, they are they are going to present more challenges again. If you're just trying to compare between last week and this week with Vandy, and Kentucky, I don't think there's any doubt that you'll probably see Kentucky be able to do a lot more things to to force a lot more frustration with that Northern Illinois offense. Now, when Kentucky's got the ball, I feel like Kentucky has left some opportunities out there. Um, it's not the offense it is going to be with Chris Rodriguez Jr. back. That'll be next week and it's Ole Miss. And and I think here's a, a valid thing to say is. Is this a look-ahead game for Kentucky? Uh, the, the, the Cats' offense has not been overwhelming. They put up 31 on Youngstown State. Turnovers have been an issue. They, they really have not run the ball the way we thought they were capable. Um, you know, even with Rodriguez out, they've got Cavoisier Smoke and some other backs who've run the ball. But Kentucky did have a couple of freshman receivers who flashed big playability recently. Uh, Key had a big game for them. Uh, was Barry and Brown? I think the one had a punt return for a score a week or two ago. These are big time recruits. Kentucky's recruiting has taken an uptick, and you saw last week Will Shepard gave Northern Illinois fits. 
uh, throw those t- kids in Robinson in, and I think Will Levis has got a chance to have a field day through the air. Even yeah, if Kentucky's not yeah. running the ball yet the way it wants to, I think there's going to be more than ample opportunity with their speed to give NIU a lot of issues there. I think Northern Illinois, if I'm looking at these stats right, and sometimes I don't look at the right one, but I'm pretty sure they're 118th nationally in uh, terms of passing yardage, giving up 284.3 points per game allowed, or excuse me, uh, yards per game allowed through the air. So I'm with you, I think. And, you know, on the flip side of that, right, you're talking about a top 30 passing offense with Levis leading the way, almost 300 yards a game of passing offense for Kentucky. So, that will be again where I, I think Kentucky will be able to exploit that weakness in particular for Northern Illinois. Um, and I just, the more I look at this, Chris, just from a stat standpoint, like I think this is one that just Kentucky feels like they should be able to go out and just decimate Northern Illinois in terms of where those weaknesses are for Northern Illinois. Like I feel like Kentucky is yeah. the kind of team that can exploit that better than a lot of teams. And I think just how they play the good passing offense, the, Really tough defense that's not going to allow a ton through the air, I think. Um, so that is, you know, again, if you're just looking at this, you're like, all right, strengths and weaknesses. I feel like Kentucky has the strengths that will be able to exploit a lot of the weaknesses for Northern Illinois. Okay, before we make some picks on this game, uh, there's some big games coming up in the league this week. To add some extra excitement, we at Southeastern 14 are making predictions in the Stakes app. That's S T A K E S. We will put some in on this game. We want to hear from you guys. If you agree or disagree, have some fun, take some shots at us, whatever. Go to playwithstakes.com forward slash 14, sign up, place your predictions on our question. If you use the invite code Southeastern14, when you sign up, you'll get a double welcome bonus. Blake, I'll be honest. I don't have a great feel on this game. I think the stat that you said about Kentucky going under in all three games was interesting, as well as the one about NIU going over. (laughs) Um, I I don't have a lot of confidence that NIU is going to stop Kentucky, but Kentucky's been a little underwhelming. 5.8 yards per play on offense. That's one of the lowest marks in the league. Uh, Again, I, I think Kentucky can play better, but it is what it is so far. Kentucky's not broken 40 yet. Uh, the implied final in this is, is 39 to 14. That's right in the range of what Kentucky's been scoring against these types of teams. Um, if Lombardi's out, I don't know the Northern Illinois can get much past 14. Um, yeah. I, don't, I don't have a great read. I'm, I'm leaning. I'm leaning Kentucky in the over, but you tell me here. Kentucky's got an Ole Miss coming up in week five that, on the well, road. That's the other concern I have. Thank you. <laughs> that's Sorry. a potential top 12 matchup because Kentucky right now is eight. This Ole Miss is 16. And again, we said they're going to win, right? Who do they, who's Ole Miss play this week? Um, Tulsa. Uh, nobody again, Tulsa. Yeah. So they're going to win another Who Northern one, Illinois so. played, by the way. There you go. It all comes together. Two. So it all, everything comes back to Northern Illinois uh, in the SEC. So, um, but no, I think that's our only hesitation because we've seen that with some teams, right? Like we kind of saw it with Arkansas against Missouri State, certainly Florida against South Florida. Like we've seen some of these letdown spots before. But yeah. I just think what I said about Kentucky and just how the, how each side of the ball plays out, I think they will be able to take care of business here against Northern Illinois. My question is, can Northern Illinois put up some points? And it goes back to what you talked about. I don't really know the answer to that because I don't know about Lombardi. So um, that is probably... The only thing I I think my better bet, honestly, I think Kentucky covers the 25, 25 and a half, whatever it is. Um, Yeah. But I I just it is a tough one. Like it's tougher than you would think with this one, because you are talking about the look ahead. This could be 42 to three. Yeah, right. And and I think that Kentucky scores a lot of points and doesn't give up many and you still don't get the over. Yeah. So I'm going to go Kentucky to to take care of business here just because I think their strengths, like I mentioned, are the ones that Northern Illinois doesn't necessarily want to see. Uh, and, and they're different than Vanderbilt. Like, I think it's just a, it's a different game in terms of how it unfolds and, and you know, with given the strengths for Kentucky. So yeah, uh, g- give me Kentucky minus 25 and a half here. Hit that subscribe button. So you don't miss any of our previews. And we do preview every football game involving SEC teams every week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.